or it's 7 30 in the morning i'm feeling pretty waxed not gonna lie but saturday decided let's make a little run of it and try and make a vlog every saturday not sure how long it's gonna last could become more regular than saturday you never know uh but yeah got same efforts as last week but just slightly longer so four times 15 instead of four times 12. got a mate coming along as well so it should be a top day out uh, and then it's obviously had knee spat as well which is pretty exciting for the day uh and yeah apart from that bit of uni work but probably isn't gonna happen let's be honest So you may wonder, you'd be like, Charlie, why do you eat such a wrong and breakfast when you have efforts? And there's two reasons. Number one, I find oats sometimes sit on my stomach quite badly. So most days, you know, if I'm just doing three hours, let's say, I'll have oats. But I find on our really hard days, they sit in my stomach a bit too much. So we don't have it. Instead, I prefer rice just because it feels like you eat it. An hour later, you feel like you're ready to go, which is generally what I do. If I have efforts, wake up, whack breakfast, and then do efforts. And reason, that is the main reason. And then a smoothie, bit of nutrients, bit of sugar. And also if you have too much protein or fat, I find like, cannot always digest as well. So we just have pure carbs in the morning and then we're ready to go and ready to fly on my efforts. And also it's what I do for race days. I'd like to practice what I do for race days in training. All right, just waiting for a May and oh my, it is cold. It looks lovely, but a bit misty this morning. Said it was like 10 degrees, not 10 degrees. Hands very cold, not ideal, but a perfect day to do some efforts. I just stopped for the classic pre-effort piss and some, <laughs> and whack the tunes in and we're ready to go whack it. We got the old mate Arkel here today. Uh, four times 15 with spikes should be tasty. Sorry for not filming too much on the ride, but the boy was cracked. Four times 15, first one 286, which is too much. And the rest were around 280, which was, well, five, six, what's better than last week, I believe. Man, I'm so cracked. Three hours, that was just quite hard. And an hour of basically threshold, but it was like over-unders is just, is just too much. I look a mess, I need a shave. I just, oh, it's just, tough day out for the old man that's all I'm gonna say but good that I did it and wasn't soft so not too bad not too bad anyway a bit of bit of scram down me cooked some result yesterday so whack that down and then day in front of the tv probably and then can't complain
I finally finished training for the day, spend the afternoon watching Hatnius Blah, etc, etc. Uh, quite a good race, I thought, actually. Uh, pretty exciting. Women's was not as exciting, I thought. Um, but the men's was, was a good, to be honest, until the final climbs. I thought Bosberg and Mule um, would be more decisive, but they weren't. But anyway, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, you just saw the gym sesh. Wasn't the most dedicated gym session, not gonna lie. Um, but a lot of the stuff is just trying to get my left leg um, strong again. Um, it's still a little bit weaker, and also I can't run at the moment just because my ITV band's really tight. So we're trying to uh, sort that out. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. Um, just having dinner, gonna have dinner, quicker, easy, dull, um, which should be nice. And then I think after this, I'm gonna go through my power data from today and just go over like what I look through when I go for, well, when I come back from a ride, like what I look for in terms of like that ride, but also rides uh, that I've previously done, previously done and how I compare them. Uh, so anyway, I'll see you after dinner. All right, so as I said before, I'm gonna go through my, how I analyze training data um, from myself. Um, so I could use Training Peaks, but I'm going to use Strava because it's pretty much the same thing from most of my why you analyze, and also more people have Strava than Training Peaks. Um, so anyway, obviously just take up the file here. This extension is called Strava Source, so if you're interested in that, it's a Chrome extension. Very, very good. So obviously, you know, look at the normalized, look at the averages, doesn't really matter to be honest. Today was effort, so, you know, things like normalized power don't really mean too much for me. Um, is also wrong as well. This normalized power, if you stop, is completely wrong. So it's accurate for racing, and that's about it. Um, so anyway, today, as you can see here, we're doing some we're doing some tempo spikes. Um, obviously, it's important to know what your your aim is. Uh, so I'll I'll bring up training peaks here, um, just so you can see what the aim was. But I know what they should be. So, you know, first one, two hundred ninety watts, two hundred eighty six watts average. Sorry, um, the first spike I think was probably going to be too much, like four hundred watts, which is a bit too much. And then this one might be more. 374 so they were quite high and the rest in between was was also quite high as well at 260 so if we look at what they're supposed to be this is based on um my threshold for um on my road bike so it's not it's not 100 percent. but a couple sessions earlier i believe i wrote what i had to do so for my tt bike which is around 40 watts less um my on is 322 to 350 my off is 224 to 240 so anyway I'll try not to make this too long because I think it could be quite long. Uh, so anyway, yeah, just go through each interval, check it's okay, 276, 279. So you can see I, I had a lot in the tank. This one I was just feeling a bit soft. Um, you can also see that some of them are shorter. It's just because I literally ran out of road, which is never ideal. But 50 seconds off is, is not too bad. I did all the spikes. Um, so anyway, obviously the principle of this is spike it and then recover at a high tempo. So here you can basically see, normally, if I was going to go through it myself, I'd just analyze each of the spikes just to make sure, see, you know, when I did the better power, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, in terms of heart rate, I didn't really reach a crazy high on my TT bike. I don't, like, on my road bike, you know, on this interval, I'd hit, like, 197 easy, but on the TT bike, it seems slightly less. Um, but anyway, so this was last week, and I like to compare from week to week. So these were 12-minute intervals, 277, 274, 276, 273. So you can see the, the gains are pretty big. Um, if we just stop on the lap, lap function here, it makes it a little bit easier to compare. So 277, 274, 276. And then here is like 286, 276, 270, and 280. So it's an increase. And obviously the duration is another to spike. And then if we look at this one as well, uh, it was a big increase. However, I was quite cautious. If we look at the heart rate here, it's not as relevant just because you can see I only reaching 184. So it's because, you know, when you first do the efforts, you just need to gauge yourself. Obviously FTP does change. Um, which is higher. This was done on my road bike in uh, London, in Regent's Park, and as you can see, 287. So the first one's similar, 288, 287. So you can see I'm not at the same level as my road bike, but it's only 10 watts off, which is, which is for me, is I'm pretty happy about. Um, and then we also have this ride as well, which I believe uh, that was gonna be 285, 281. I actually struggled on this one and couldn't, couldn't do the last one. These were two 50 minute efforts. And then this, I think, must have been the last one I did in London, which was pretty hard again. 18 minutes of this, 286, 284. So you can see that actually, like, okay, the numbers were better here, but I actually couldn't finish my three 18-minute sets. I couldn't even finish two 15-minute sets. So actually, in terms of numbers, I'm really happy that I managed to do four 15-minute efforts today, um, which is super, super good. Um, and then, yeah, you know, I sometimes have a look at the average speed because for a TT that matters. So 
you can see here like, okay, this is the headwind part. We only, oh sorry, tailwind 41 k an hour. On the way back, we did 36, four, oh no, sorry, that's, that's the wrong day. That's why it's different. Um, the wind changes obviously, you know, it's not the most best way, but you can see here 37 on 286, 41 on 276, 36.4 on 280, and then 41.6 on 280. So, you know, you could see if I did average 280 watts, but obviously this is actually a lot harder than 280 because you're doing spikes and stuff. So it's not perfect. But anyway, that's pretty much what I go through. Um, so this is going to be the end of the video. Cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy. Um, I'm going to try and do some more vlogs. Um, and so, yeah. We'll see you in the next one, eh?